Hey YouTube. Well, it's a blustery fall day, so perfect day to do something different. And that different is right here, barbed wire. This farm had a lot of barbed wire on it at one point in time. I've been cleaning it up over the last year and a half, and I'm down to the very last stretch of barbed wire to clean up. Um, this and another pallet like this is what I've rolled up and pulled out so far. And I'm just going to show, you know, what I do to do it. Here's the main tools for it. Hammer, obvious. Screwdriver. And this we use to pry off the staples and the wire hooks that hold the barbed wire on. Um, little bolt cutter to cut the wire, various points. This is uh, galvanized steel wire, uh, what is this, 20 gauge. And I use this when I roll the barbed wire up right here to tie it all, to tie the, rows, the rolls together so it doesn't fly around. That's worked out really well. It's inexpensive and it's just metal so it goes with it. Um, this guy, fencing hammer. Everybody kind of thinks of one of these. I've tried this thing, and with one exception, I actually kind of don't like this tool too much. And, uh, the reason is, it's just kind of one of those that does everything but nothing real well. Um, I found it easier when doing a lot of barbed wire to just use the tools that are better for the job. The one exception is this little spike right here for prying up um, the fence spikes. That seems to work really well. Um, and getting it gripped in here and, and pulling it out. Um, otherwise, these cutters right here, I have a hard time getting the barbed wire into those cutters. And the hammer just doesn't feel right compared to a real hammer. You know, so it's a good tool to have for just quickie jobs quick repair work, have it in the toolbox or the truck, but for doing a lot of it, I'd rather have the real tool. And this, highly recommended, makes, it's very inexpensive, about $30, and it just makes the job a whole lot easier. Another thing, the five gallon bucket, of course, and that's used to just carry all the old metal parts that get pulled out of the fence as you take it apart and carry tools and whatnot. And finally I have an old free wood pallet and I'm going to put it down there and that's what I'm going to stack the barbed wire on until I can load it up and get it out of here to the metal recycling place. Um, okay, well, let's go down by the road and see what we got. Alright, here we are at the work site. This is the old fence down at the corner of the driveway and just goes along the road. Um, it's in pretty bad shape. The anchor's pulled up, the corner's pulling out, the posts are pretty rotten. Yeah. There we go. Strong. Ooh. Um, so this whole thing just needs to go and if you sight on down, you sight on down, you can see the whole fence is leaning out along the road there. And ugh, time for it to go. I've taken out the fence down to this corner already, so this side is clear, and we just need to go the rest of the way. So, how do we do this? Well, here we go. All right, turning it this one of the stabilizer wires, and there's one fence staple through it. So, several ways to attack it. I'm going to try this and just grab it like that, squeeze, and with a few yanks, well, <laughs> yeah, it comes out. Beautiful, huh?
So here we are at the first uh, metal T-post. You can see these things are leaning and loose all over the place. held on to the T-post Okay, um, two things. One, this is called T-post or fence post. Tabs on it. Um, there is something called sign post. And instead of having little knobs, it has holes drilled through it to attach signs. These knobs help keep the fence in place because the barbed wire, once it's hooked on, it can't slide up and down. All these little knobs here keep it from doing that, so they keep it in place. on itself. This stuff catches on everything. I've destroyed lots of clothing taking this out. I'm really happy this job is almost done. So you have to do this in kind of an order where it doesn't hook on itself. If you start from the top, taking this out, this top strand is going to fall down and get all tangled up with these lower strands. And if you it up, it's just really going to be a headache. So you start with the bottom strand, work your way up. The other thing is, um, what I'm going to do is take off the bottom attachment for the strand, bottom strand, all the way along, and then two out of three, I'll take off all four of them. So every third post will be like this, and then it'll be two of them where all of these attachments will be off. And that way, it's just a little easier. You could just go down the thing and start from the bottom, take them all off, roll it up, then go to the next one, take them all off, roll it up, set it all the way up. It's up to you how to do it. But that's just the way I'm going to do it. So here I go. Well, here we are at the other end. I've gotten most of the clips off that I'm going to get off. And my land ends here, it goes to my neighbor's land, and he's put in this wood post. So what I'm going to do is just clip the fence here, wrap it around, and that's when this becomes very handy, because you just go like that. Now one thing when you do this, don't stand near the fence when you cut it. You saw that thing snapped away. Um, that's really bad. You stand perpendicular out a little ways because it's the only place it really can't hit you is out here. No matter what it does, it will snap all over the place. Go like that. Okay? Um, okay. So that's that. And then the hammer. The hammer down. And that's when I'm going to reuse um, some of these staples. The decent one. I'm just going to roll this back towards there. There. I'm going to do it just the inside of one of the barbs. Hold it. I 
should probably have a bigger hammer than this, but it's, you know, the one I had. So. Okay, found it in. That's it. And see you when this part's done. Alright, so these are all stapled in now. All down here, and that's secure. That's not going to go anywhere. Turns them down long before the staples come out. And now we're off to roll up the first strand, and that will be the bottom strand right here. Let's go, and the next job is just go to the second, the next one strand that's on the bottom, pull off the clips, put them in the bucket, roll it up, and I'll see you back down here again. Okay, that's two, two strands, the two bottom strands are rolled up in there here. Um, I'm going to bind them both together because. Okay, so that's it. All four strands are wrapped up. The stabilizers on the corner are wrapped up into this. And it's uh, ready to go off to the scrapyard. There's one thing I really should have emphasized with this is to always be careful um, when you're handling barbed wire. This stuff really will hurt you if given a chance, and it really tries to hurt you. Um, handling this stuff is more a matter of finesse than brute strength. If you try to brute strength this, like pull it, it'll release, it snaps, it whips around, and it always whips straight before my face. Um, it, it's just nasty stuff, so it's more finesse. Always good to wear nice thick clothes that you don't care about because they will get ripped up. Gloves, you can see my gloves got ripped up today nicely. Um, eye protection, very good uh, idea. And just have a plan and just be careful with it. Take it steady, take it slow. If you get frustrated, stop and do something else. Because this stuff will wreck your day. Alright, here's the first T-post. Right here. T-post shapes like it looks like a T from the top and has all these bumps. This is a T-post. Post. Don't try to pull it on the base. You know, tuck the base where right next to the post. You have the base on the opposite side from the bumps, the back side. You take this, turn it around, turn it down like that. Down on the 
lever, and this thing automatically, somewhat automatically, ratchets down and pulls it eventually right out of the ground. Um, much easier than beating up a screws doing this. Okay, how's up with the rest of them? right here from the corner, two posts, all the barbed wire, the posts are picked up and they're put back in a pile with all the other ones. Next, next episode is taking this all to the scrap heap and see if we can get some money for it. Adios!